Hey hey everyone, Krillopix here, and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to do the beaded cross stitch. So first, I'm going to show you uh, the progress that I have on my giant beaded cross stitch here. Um, not too sure what possessed me to get one so large, especially for my first time trying this, but I think that uh, is not very surprising to anyone who watches my channel. <laughs> So uh, this is it so far. Uh, I did want to have a bit more completed for you, but it is time consuming because you thread on one bead at a time. But this here is about 18 rows complete out of 600. <laughs> so I'm getting there. Woohoo! I'm in the double digits, so that's okay. Um, and there's about 200, you can't really see here, but there's about 233 beads in each row. So I do have quite a bit of work ahead of me. But considering, uh, I wasn't impressed at first, like my most recent post of this before now was only 10 rows. And it was looking interesting, but now that I've got more done, I can really see the flowers starting to come in. And I'm quite surprised because the beads are quite crappy in this kit they're very uneven and some don't even have holes and they're just all different types of beads and it's just really crappy but looking from afar it's looking pretty good like these leaves i'm quite impressed so yeah i'll definitely keep going with this and i will continue to show progress uh photos of this on instagram and facebook but on to the tutorial so this is what I'm going to be using to show you guys how to practice. Quick story, I had purchased an, another kit from AliExpress called Pearl Double-Sided Beaded Embroidery. And you were supposed to have these pearls and you follow like a counted cross stitch chart. And you make this uh, beaded panel that was that looked the same on both sides essentially, right? So you flip it over and it just looks the same. And I got this kit where I got the beads and I got this canvas. And I was like, oh, is that right? Am I supposed to have this? And she said, yep. But there were no instructions on how to do the double-sided embroidery, just the beaded embroidery. And I was like, uh, help. So she sent me some videos um, after she had researched, obviously, because nobody had asked how to do it before, I guess. <laughs> But they were in Chinese and I had to watch them many times and slowly just to get the gist of the technique. Anyways, long story short, I'm not happy with the technique so I don't know if I will switch to bead embroidery and use this cloth or not. Or maybe I'll show you guys um, what I've done so far and you can let me know what you think. But yes, anyways, on with the tutorial, I'm going to use this as my practice piece for you guys. But yeah, if I continue with the double-sided embroidery, I'll have this to cross-stitch as well. So that's, I kind of got, you know, two projects in one, really. <laughs> so I can't really complain. It was, yeah, that was, that was an experience. <laughs> so yeah, it's very simple to do beaded embroidery. I'm going to use some bright colors, so hopefully you guys can see okay. But yeah, you are going to need your string, which they normally provide if you purchase a kit. Um, the, they only provide one color, so you don't have to worry about changing colors to match the beads or anything like that. Nothing so crazy. So that part is simple. To do beady embroidery, all you need to do is make a knot at the end of your string, which I've done here because I didn't want to fiddle around on camera. <laughs> and you're just going to make a series of half stitches, but adding a bead for every stitch. It's that simple. So hopefully you can see this okay. This one is a bit larger to do than, these beads are larger than my peacock cross stitch and that's why I'm not showing you on there. Because it's very tiny and I have to hold it up really close to my face. <laughs> but yeah, you're going to start and of course with any cross stitch you're going to have either the printed pattern on the canvas like this or you're going to get a little booklet that has the pattern and you have to do the counted cross stitch. But that's it. You come up from the back and yeah, you make a knot and for cross stitchers, I think they might shudder at making a knot at the end. But trust me, that's how you'll have to do it instead of weaving it in. 
Uh, so yeah, you pull that up from the back and according to your pattern, I'm just going to pick a color here. Let's go with red. You're just going to go ahead and thread a bead onto your thread. And then you're going to go diagonally from where you came up from, just like normal cross stitch. So I'm just going to go down here and pull that through. And that's it. You can move on to the next one. That's that's it. That's the whole stitch complete. So I'm just going to come up. I'm going to go and you have to work in rows. So I'm going to go up right below where I went down. And pull it tight. And then I'm going to add another bead. And essentially do the same thing over again. Add a bead. Go down diagonally. And pull that through. And you're gonna come up for the next stitch. And what I've been doing is something a bit easier because I don't like to fiddle around underneath so much. So I I come up, I add my bead. And instead of just going down, pulling it through, coming up, pulling it all the way through, I go down a little bit. I go down the next one and I bend my canvas so that I come up the one where I should be in the next stitch. And then I pull it through. And then I don't have to fiddle underneath trying to find the right hole to come up through because I feel like that takes a lot more time. Maybe for cross stitch that would be a bit better, you know, you get used to, you can do that two-handed technique and it's better if you also have some sort of embroidery hoop or, you know, the Q-snap uh, frames or anything like that. That's definitely uh, helpful, but for the beady embroidery, I do like to go ahead and bend it and, let me change colors, go to purple, and do it that way. I feel it's a little bit quicker. So I'm just going to do a couple more, just do a couple of purple ones, but really that's, that's all there is to this. You're just stringing on beads one at a time. And that's where the time component comes in because you have to do one at a time whilst following your graph. So you have to find out, you know, which color is next and so on and so forth. If it's something something simple like this, like this one only has 20 colors, whereas the peacock has 60 colors, it's not so bad. I reckon I could do this in no time. <laughs> but like I was mentioning, you do need to do, can you see that? Yes, there we go. You need to work in rows. Whereas I think with normal cross stitching, and I'm not a pro, so I could be wrong about this, but you tend to work with one color in an area. Like with diamond painting, you do all the same color in that area. Same with cross stitching, I believe that you do the same in that area. So you can have places that are blank. But with beta cross stitch, you do need to work all the way across in the row, changing, you know, picking up the different colors of beads as you go. And then yeah, you just have to work row by row instead of color by color. So I'm about to show you now how I move up to the next row, which is also very simple and just like doing the half stitch in the cross stitch craft. So I'm going to add another bead. Add another purple. And I go down diagonally where I should. And then I just come up one diagonally. And there you go, you're ready to go back the other way for your next row. So also with beta cross stitch, your stitches need to be all in the same direction. So whatever you start with, you need to continue with that for the same throughout the whole canvas, throughout the whole pattern. It's the same thing. I go down, I bend my canvas, and then I pull everything through. And that's it. 
I have started the next row. So really, this craft is very simple. I'd say you don't have to think about anything too much, but you really do need to focus on your pattern. Uh, you know, pay attention to what beads come next. That's the only thing. It's very... It's very, It really is easy. I can't tell you how... <laughs> I can't say anymore how easy it is. Like, as you can see, I'm going pretty quickly. And I think I'm only going pretty quickly because, one, I've only put six beads in each row. Two, I'm only using two colors. And three, I've had a bit of experience with the peacock. <laughs> but, you know, don't be crazy like me. Well, I mean, unless you want to and go, you know, full-blown super epic on your first try of this craft. I don't know what I'm thinking sometimes, but when I see these big epic pictures, I just want to do them. <laughs> so I get sucked in. <laughs> But yeah, that's two rows complete, so I would just move up to the next row and just do the same thing all over again, following my pattern, either what's printed on here or what's on my chart. But yeah, that's it. Really, that's it. Bead across stitch complete. To end it, you're just going to end on the back side, and this is what my back side looks like. It's very neat. Um, I know for me, for cross stitch, the back needs to look just as nice as the front, so this makes me feel good. Except for this knot, but there won't be too many of those, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, to end it, you're just going to end on the back side, create another knot, start your new line. That's it. It is. That's how simple it is. In fact, I will show you. I'll just come back out here. Let's say I have, you know, run out of thread and I've added my last bead. There's no joining of the threads, but all I need to do is make a knot. Uh, where I can show you guys. Make a knot. And then cut it. That's it. I don't even have my scissors here. But you would just cut that and then, you know, thread your needle with new thread and start all over. But that's it. Please let me know if you guys have any questions or comments or suggestions or anything. If you can't see this clear enough, let me know, please. But yeah, I really do hope that you have enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye!